Okay. We are not in the right place because this game does enjoy fucking with uh, custom custom uh, designer vehicles. Save it again. Very smooth. So, um, I'm here. That wants that needs to die. And, uh, I guess let's load in the weapons. Get back to it. Oh, and the gun wasn't saved at all. What? Is this why is this not saved at all? Doesn't feel right. Weird. Oh, and all the shells went, went away. But the shells also were. Uh, we're uh, saved, so doesn't actually matter that much. Okay, sub objects. But is this the wrong size again? Now that it's... It should be, right? Yeah, because it's not... It doesn't have two boxes anymore. Good thing I didn't check this before I started. Okay, so we're back with the space and I believe I remember what the setup was. Because I was doing two dual turrets, right? Or dual barrels, I think. Which looked something like this. Okay. 
And then there were only four gauge increasers because it was 250 millimeters. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. With some gauge coolers or corners, I should say, because all of these are gauge coolers. But I'm pretty sure they're not actually called that. I think they might only have had the single lock. That wasn't quite accurate. I think that's better. And it was a rail gun too. With, I think, 8,000. Oh, you're late by what? Uh, why, don't, why don't I have timestamps? You're late by 7 minutes. Fine every time. Why? Uh... Why don't I have timestamps? Uh, timestamps? Yes, please. Thank you. Not a problem at all. I'm happy to see you. Then I think I had chargers like this. And I haven't actually painted the uh, full height, the armoring yet. There we go. I could make this a charge as well. But I need to think of how this is going to work. So let's start with a single floor see what happens with this because so this means I can have one clip on each side but I can't have ammo inputs here but I can have them on the end here so that's just fine and then I can have recoil composite absorbers here so yeah we have we have uh, everything we need But I also apparently maybe not want, would not want clips for rapid fire. Uh, 
I was told that uh, I should just go full autoloaders. Uh, last time I was building something similar on the flagship. But we'll have to wait and see. Now, what do I put down here? The easy answer is just recoil. Maybe like a four meter there. And I'm going to have a an eight meter like such. And that does not attach, okay. Oh, that only works one way. Darn. But now I have that. No, I only have that on this gun. Okay. So no, no spicy recoil absorption. Or that nice symmetry. In performance this time. Okay, now the only pointer here is that there's a lot of free space, or empty space rather. I could have a few autoloaders like this. But I don't really want to have different performance on my my uh, autoloaders on my guns I kind of want all the barrels in one in one turret to work the same Is three for sustained fire. What? Can I do that? No, I can't. Why does it need? Th oh, because it's uh, because I got two clips. It needs one more. Well, then that's gonna cost a lot of recoil. Which is going to be an issue. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? 
without recoil, you don't really have a lot to go on. But I could do that. That would work. Would be fucking funky, but it would work. And I want to keep the spacing for... Uh... Huh, maybe I shouldn't... Hold on, let me let me look something up real fast. Not that I not that I met not that I care. But someone might care. So that is the opposite of what I've done. Okay, good. Good. It's very reminiscent, but it's the opposite, so it's fine. I'm good, thanks. Day's been alright. Uh, we had some... Um, we had a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A... Uh, what would you call it? Lecture, I guess? Maybe not? wasn't really a lecture. Uh, we had some professional, uh, I think former firefighter, come over and talk to us about our fire safety. So that was interesting. And now we've got some, some more uh, fire detectors on the shopping list. At home. As a... Uh, cause of that. Oh. Yeah. Genius. There we go. It's not the same, but it's definitely something. Now we need to design a shell, which I could place on the turret for ease, so that it always it'll always be available for the gun. But I am not going to do that. Instead, I am going to copy this. And if I remember correctly, this was only. Uh, wait, was it two more? I think. If I remember correctly, it was two more. Uh, armor, piercing, fla not flag, frag, 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 frag. I can't remember. Uh, so this needs a three meter already. So I'm thinking of yeah, I'm thinking of this shell. Genius. Uh, that's that's close. Okay. Uh, also, this is not what I'm going for. I'm going for EMP. Uh, timed fuse. EMP. EMP. But that's not warhead, that's a armor piercing. Right. 
So that's basically what I'm after. That works just fine. Flagship secondary ammo. Oh, yeah, that, that works just fine. That prediction is uh, very straight. Three, two, one, boom. Bounce. And we are currently... 12 kilometers away. Almost on the dot. So what is this? This is a frag. But this is... Wait, what? No. 
Why, why, why would you have made that switch? You're, you're the big guns. Yeah, you're right. You're okay. So this says twenty four RPM. Perfect. Because there's not a lot of cooling. Well, we could easily fix that. Now we're up to 28. Real quick and easy fix. Thirty six RPM. Two shots every minute. I don't think that's terrible. Considering these are EMP, that's not terrible. EMP sort of don't need to fire fast because they do so much. They're so potent. Of course, unless you have protection, in which case they are pretty weak. Let's say 36, because the actual fire rate is 36.5. And I'm not sure that 36 will be too high. I'm thinking this will be good and well in like every situation. So like that should be easy to armor up to look inconspicuous. And these things only have 11 RPM. So, did you place this? McTiny, was this you? Because I, I, I was bothered by something. I thought that it was my, something. Because I thought last time I was seeing something there, but I was just thinking that I was just imagining it. Well, now I have to resave this. Let's see, how do I? F Give this more cooling. I do have this big nice rod that I could change. Like I, I have 7,000 absorption and I need 3,000. So I think I can afford to kill that. And then make some sort of a... an extension. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. What? Did I take away? Oh yeah, yeah, I did, of course. I'm an idiot. I knew I did that.
Yes, let's put down one of these boys. I think that might be what's missing. Why are you not reloading? Oh, because it, reloading takes literally forever. Okay, there we go. That's the answer. I doing all right cooling How come this gets How come this gets less cooling? Oh right, because they're unevenly long, of course. That we need to compensate for that as well, right. And that's gonna be fun. Thirteen point six. How many coolers does this have? Does not say. Um, one sixty nine, one sixty seven, one sixty five, sixty five. So that needs two coolers. Well, the math really is up here, so I can do the math here. Thirteen point three. Thirteen point six. Okay. Oh, only that much. Right, 13.6 everywhere. Now I'm not sure if that's gonna be great. Because that's definitely not the case. But would 13 RPM be okay, good enough?
Wait, no, what? What, what? what was I saying with this thing firing only two times a minute? Then it would have two RPM. I was thinking half of 60 is, th is 60 is 30. What am I on? So 13.6 and 36.5. Let's see, does this thing do that? I would guess so. And this thing... Oh right, energy. Resources. Battery electric sample. Rail use is currently 4,800. Or actually, it's actually 5,000. So let's count, go down to like. about 1k it can do 1k I don't hate that Okay, so 1200? How about 1800? Two K? Getting close. Twenty two hundred? Twenty six hundred. Getting real close. Eight. Oh, that's on the tippy toes. Three grand. Ooh, a hair over. Like two nine fifty. Yeah. Fifty-five. Yeah. Two nine five five. Two nine five five. Handles his own recoil. These handle their own recoil. All right. Considering the sizes of these things, I don't think this is terrible. I think this is definitely manageable and worthwhile. I think these are good guns. 
especially considering the arrangement that they're in, that they're supposed to be in. With like six of these things at most uh, in the front, probably more like four, actually. Four of these in the front, maybe maybe six of these in the front, and then moving on as we g get along. Uh, we'll have to see. There we go. Uh, not tonight. Because you crashed it last time and you... Uh, yeah, you crashed it last time and you were fucking with me. Which not that not that I take that very personally, of course, but whoa, oops. Uh, I'm going to be playing for a few hours now, so I want to take this uh, at my own pace, so to say. You did also place those turret uh, installments and told me to look at them for no reason. Which was the, the main offense. That was the big one. That is incredibly shiny. Right, 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 right. Scale. Uh, how about you elevate to like 20? And then I don't need to do that because we're not in multiplayer. Actually, what I should do. Does it still have the... Uh, yeah, it does have still the drill. Nice. Okay. We're going. On a trip. In our favorite rocket ship. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's not correct. So, uh, let's make this real simple. Take away the oddity. So this thing is currently... 60 materials. Four, 60 divided by 4. I guess would be 15 right 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So this thing is now 200. Wonderful. So that's 11, I think. Yep, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I should probably go back down to like Let's go down to 40 and then add the remainder on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is now 80 meters tall, 200 meters long. 80 is not going to be enough, but I'm not going to make it 100 meters tall. So maybe that actually is enough. Let's say that this is enough. Let's make this... Uh... Do I want it that way? I think I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's not an obscene size. That's pretty average, I think. I mean, it goes on for longer than I... Th Is that actually how long it's going for? It might actually just be, because... The, the station is 100, 102 meters. So I think my sense of scale has been completely blown out of the water. And I'm thinking like 300 might be more fitting length for this thing. It's currently 84 in uh, width. So maybe I up that to 100. 88, 92, 96, 100. Right, there we go. So this is a lot wider than it's ever going to be. So I'm thinking maybe I just put this down to 60 and go back down to 80 width. Because 80 width shouldn't be too much.
So, currently the width is 102, actually. And no, that's the spawn of fortress. This thing is 200, 180. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Actually, what it does tell me is where I need to cut it. Actually, that was the right way to do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 40. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's that might be a bit on the thin side actually looking at it we'll have to wait and see this is all uh, estimation work anyways So, one, two, three. I want it to be an additional hundred meters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. So close. Okay. So now I have a an all right understanding of the size that I want this to be. Which might still be a little short. Considering the miniature dimensions. It's a lot brighter under the sea. So, this is basically the dimensions I'm working with. 
aside from of course how uh, height is twice this. I'll leave it like that. I think that will work out a little bit close enough. We'll also use that as a guiding tool. Okay. Huh. Okay, so we've almost got a shopping basket situation going on. No, I'm building uh, a uh, three-dimensional uh, ruler for the uh, flagship. I'm sorting out the basic dimensions. Currently this thing is uh, 300 by 80 by 80. And I think that, say... It's, it's very tall, but it's also going to account for towers and stuff, like superstructure. So I'm probably going to have pretty much all of the hull and like most of the guns below the, set, the middle line. 
but th and then it'll be that wi this wide and this long. And I might attach it to this structure, or I'll just have two traction beams uh, attaching so I can have uh, a flagship, the uh, the masterpiece. This is a uh, 3D measurement uh, base. All right. I could just hold it down. I don't know why I'm, why I'm not doing that, but I'm not. Okay. So this is what you would usually have for a ship. This is a big ship. What I have, what I've got on the uh, on this section. But I'm also going to add this piece to really get that grandiose superstructure or super uh, super feeling. I don't know what the precise super word I'm looking for is, but I think it might be something akin to prestige. But this is not, this is like a quarter of the structure that I had, if I remember correctly. So this is, this was basically be A survivor, survival raft, or like a um, a deployable ship out of the uh, prototype one flagship. But I really shouldn't be uh, brooding on that too hard. I really should be moving on and focusing on the uh, what isn't lost. To time and eternity. So now let's save this as the uh, flagship frame. Uh, ruler. Let's see here, how much higher do we want this? Guess I can make it here. So I want it this here. One, two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Jesus. <sighs> My brain is terrible for maths. Four times six, 24. That's not that insane. Thought it would be way more. I'll close that out again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is that really 20 though? I feel terrible. I haven't gotten any better at counting. You'd think that a lot of years of. Uh, Minecraft would do that, but I'm not. I've not actually been an avid Minecrafter, so maybe it ha would have done that if I would have actually played the game entirely. But instead, I can just do this and then 
place it straight down immediately. I'm not gonna make it as fancy as the old one. But we don't got time for that shit. Uh, 60, 90, but also, hmm. Where do I place this thing? It sort of looks like the bottom half is taller than the top half. So I kind of want to have... Actually, I can just do this, but also but have, have this be the flagship ruler. And let us begin. I have a lot of work ahead of me. Am I going to shy away from it? Not intentionally. Has that mattered in the past? Not massively. Let's be let's be brutally honest. So how do we start this off? I'm thinking we're gonna start at the very front of the bow and start with the uh, the axe head, if you will. So let me pull up the the uh, old favorited guides. Basics. Old sign. Okay, so this is where all of these guys are. This is a tutorial from back when. Uh, these images are probably taken uh, does it have a timestamp by the way just for curiosity um, published 1st of July 2015 updated 17th of July 2016 so yeah this uh, this is some old school tips and tricks My preschool brain is telling me that that's uh, six years and five years ago. Welcome back. Middle deck, lower deck. You will have an engine room. Buoyancy holes. Lead key, that's not really important. Center of mass. Uh. <laughs> okay. A little bit intricate for my taste, I believe. Maybe not though. Um how to not make bad holes.
Okay. So. Let's now paint it. I uh, already said no. Sorry. Maybe Monday. Probably Monday. Maybe in an, in a few hours, as in in one hour, because in two hours I might not still be online. We'll see. Uh, four. How smooth is this? I'm not sure I'm allowed to play Minecraft music. I wouldn't be surprised if I was, but I don't think so. Is that, a, is that too neutral? I think that might be too neutral. Ah, oh, sh... Of course. That's been designed that way. So I don't want to do like most of this. Instead, I just go straight for another four meter like that. And actually, this is what I'll do. Probably a little too tall. That's not gonna happen either. This is the absolute front uh, of the um, 
hull? I'm gonna go with hull. I'm not entirely certain what the term is actually. This is eventually going to be all the way down by that line, uh, basically. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, sure. Twenty-seven. I can go up to 80, I think. That is eventually going to be too tall. It's already quite tall. So currently, we are at 38, 34, I mean, but I was thinking that this would be 80, no, it's going to be 40. We have six blocks left. So really what I should do is I should start this uh, two meter ordeal one down So now we're at 31, still have 9 meters left, and we can get some no nice rounding off for this. So I'm thinking something like this, which is going to be a hard, have a hard, I'm going to have a hard time blending this nicely. But if I do it like that, then I could have 
some easy uh, curvature going on over here that might just straight lead up like this. I think that works fine. But this is what it's going to look like all around the boat. So I'm going to up the front one step. So I can get that elevated uh, front of the bow. Okay, so we've gotten this far. Now I th think I want to go like this. And this is where mirror mode begins. Do I want to? Uh, I don't think so. I do want two of those. Am I going to immediately follow up like this? Uh, actually, I am. Trust me, when I got this game, uh, I was playing on my laptop and I built a ship which was probably about as big as this frame is, entirely with single blocks, uh, and I wasn't even finished with the skeleton, with the basic wooden skeletal structure which was very, uh, not very... It was. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't like a ship style. It was a very skeleton-like skeleton, and I wasn't even done with like half of the ribs before I started losing. Uh, where I started having frame dips every time I placed a block, and it got to the point where once the the thing was finished, uh, I every time I placed a block, I had the game froze and I had to wait for almost a whole second before I could play the game again and this was the uh, naval giant but fortunately nowadays uh, primarily probably because I use uh, beams the uh, the game mostly runs fine with things smaller than this but not not like probably 200 work 100 definitely works but 200 that's that's starting to stretch it but this is the pride of the fleet we don't do compromises in this area outside from how we may compromise uh, when the when my windows was lost and all the shit was wet with missing forever never to ever return because I don't want to I don't want to build a ship that's five times this size 
more than once. That shit broke, the dream is dead. We're moving on. Okay, that works. Sorry, I was quiet. I just that that really was taking all of the all the brain resources. No way was I gonna make a sentence and figure that out at the same time. Wait, I have one of these. I'm gonna press down this uh, berm, I think you could call this. And then I'm going to uh, go get some refreshments. Just FYI.
how the fuck like that maybe I think, I think that works. We we'll have to fix that when we actually figure out what we're after. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll go away and uh, come back with some refreshments of some kind.
All right. I've got enough uh, sweets in front of me to uh, satisfy a kindergarten, which makes it a little bit difficult to reach some of the kids on my keyboard that I may or may not need to reach in the time it takes me to eat it all. So, I was working on this. And this is inaccurate, so... I'm going to do... I'm going to... Copy... This... I'm going to place it... Over here, I think. Because this shouldn't be uh, slanted like that. This should be. That should look something more like that, because this is supposed to be... Uh, supposed to be uh, curving back on itself. I guess you could put it... That's what that's supposed to look like, in the end. And the question is whether or not I actually thicken it. I'm not sure, certain about that. I think that this might be thick enough. 
Like I kind of want to, so, part of me wants a railing too. So I of course can't satiate both of those. Since this is sort of the, the um, replacement. Unless of course I uh, changed the inner slope and have inverted uh, railings. So what I could do is this and then have a That one's going to be tough. What type of thing is it? You're going to have to clarify. I can de I can decipher, but I can't decipher that. I'm sorry. I think this is a boat out of those. Nuke Yeater, it's going to have a Nuke Yeater. Uh, the miniature does feature a massive Doom Cram. We'll see about how, how that shakes out in reality. But the theory is a uh, boat with Nuke Yeater. Pretty much. So I think I can actually make a reading for this. Which I think looks nice. Should have picked a bigger spoon. I'll be right back. Right, bigger spoon acquired. And the first thing I do is <clears throat> fuck it up and get it down the wrong pipe or something. Wonderful. Maybe it's just big chunks down the right hole. 
Who knows? Uh, yeah. Do I keep going with this? It is sort of thin. But at this point, I'm sort of expecting it to be as well. It is going to widen out. I'm probably like at, at this point. Two. Not bad. So that is a very hard shift. I'm thinking maybe not the twos and just threes that might transition transition back to fours. Yeah, that's more like it. I think my one more might be enough. Uh, yes, I have an image in my brain, I have memories to reference, and I have um, my sense of uh, appeal? File? I don't know. I don't have any reference pictures. I remember what it used to look like, I remember some of the things I have built. 
I remember some of the ships I have seen and some of the things I've noticed and some of the experiences I've had and uh like no I uh, could but you could probably just go to um like Google images and just go like battleship or um, just go ship or like cargo ship or like cruise line or like I'm generally just mishmashing various ideas of um, seafaring that I've picked up on, on over the years just mishmashing it all together into something that looks good and this nose is incredibly stubby I just realized oof that is very short wow I want to stretch this out to be like twice this length that is not great that is going to be a lot of awkward work trying to get this to be twice this length So something more akin to this, I think, is what I'm after. So that is... This one goes. And then... Like... I guess... That probably works. All right, never mind. We did compensate for the slopes. That is a lot straighter. Is it too straight though?
So, at this point, this build is a hundred meters. So this would be a third. That is a little too long to triple that length. So I need to make it a bit shorter and it'll overall be a bit more stubby. It's going to be sitting quite low in the water, I think. The way it's shaking out right now, it's going to be very high up off, off, above the waves. If I can get the PID to do that, of course. This thing is going to have a, quite a few props to keep it going, I think. At this point, I think that might be the only thing that really makes uh, sense. So, what we'll do instead is at this point, I will start with the threes. So probably actually this early. Okay, so, the front is a little bit too uh, rounded, I think. At this point, I don't want to change it. It's going to be a bigger hassle correcting than just rolling with. Well, I probably should correct it. Because right now it looks a lot like the rear end of the ship. And that's not fire. So, let's see if we can salvage this. So 40 is a lot more than I need. Length will go like that far. And so now I have the center line. Center piece. And now I think I'm going to cut it simply like such. And then, 
be able to improve on this by getting a third piece of one meter here. And then at this point, we go with the, uh, the twos. It's not a great improvement. Would rather it uh, like stood out seriously, but it has now gone from being the rear to being the front, which is a definite improvement. Not really a hundred percent. It needs to be more pointed than this, but it would definitely not hurt. Tonight, point it off here. No, I think I need to go back and put everything, make everything one step longer. So not quite what I had in mind, I have to say, but so far it is working.
Did that not work? Uh, it seems to have worked. Why did it not continue working? Somehow it didn't capture some of the supporting pieces. Literally somehow, how would that happen? Hello, Weeb. Didn't see you there at first. Uh, I don't think this thing gets escorts. I think it'll, it'll just be flanked by uh, other friendly ships. Welcome. Uh, because it's uh, primarily not going to really be engaging a lot in a lot of battle. Particularly the previous version, but also this, I'm kind of not expecting to ever afford in a campaign. Yeah, um, escorts would probably be great for defense. What did this look like again? So two small, two, two twos, one three, or two twos, two threes, two fours? that eventually this sort of thing will stand its own uh, for the most part I think as well because it's going to be so incredibly heavily armed uh, that being a basically a fortress is hopefully not gonna be a big issue we'll have to see but I'm Hoping so.
All right. Those don't mean a whole lot to me other than th that they are designations. But sure. Yeah, that's the uh, the idea of an escort. Uh, later, tiny. The painting comes uh, once the uh, hull is uh, at least externally finished. Oh, I'm I'm just a bit too old fashioned, that's why. This is a three, this is a four. Pattern a bit too ingrained. There we go, that's the one. So, we have a basic uh, front established, and now I think we might be safe to remove the... the support. Oh yeah, this is one of those uh, start now, finish next year type of deals. So, width is starting to come together, and I think I might have been a little bit too similar, but it also, the pattern has only repeated once. So I guess now I move to the um, to the solid. Really get that width. I guess I could first do doubles before I do full. 
and I think that might look a bit better. Like that, I would say. And now we'll start smoothing it out. So, that is very off center, but that should sort itself of sort of stuff out once we get to meeting this thing up. So let's cut it for there for now, and work on something more important. You know what? Let's let's do some more hole work. Let's sort this curve out. Oh shit. We have it. early warnings. But I think something like that might work. Who oh boy is that ever ugly? does one must have done this before right Look at that. Transitions block blocks being used for transitioning. Perfect. You know, I'm down for that, actually. So far, I'm okay with this. 
I think I need some stagger to get proper looking. That is a little jank, has to be said. A little bit jank and a little bit straightened. Kind of makes me want to not have this be proper. This one's difficult. That's, that's weird. No clue how this is gonna shake out. How do I do this? I think I'm gonna have to start from uh, wide. Tighten up at the end. So like this is all correct, this top half. And I think that what I want is for these guys
You know what? I think I can make that work. I think I can make that happen. Oh boy. So that's interesting. I'm not immediately opposed to that. But I am not psyched about it. So 
That's not a great start. That's very spiked. How far did I get? Because this works. Kind of this scaly, spiky, cold stuff. Testing here. Still nowhere near.
okay some top down work very thin right in the beginning A lot of armoring in this uh, whole video. No. Revisiting the ball, maybe that's the one. Okay. Somewhat. Where's the 3D? Come on, give me get some height. Let's go. So flat. Oh, here we go. Well, that was kind of fruitless. Let's not continue with that train. How the fuck does one... Ooh, 
the brain is running at like 2% right now, it's very slow. I'm gonna open a drink. Oh boy. It's really weird for this thing to suddenly get jagged. Like the the brim is just fine and the underside I mean sure it's ridged, but sure it, it works. It's just some some lines on it. It, that's okay, but then we just go completely fucking dragon Like second number two Row number three we just go complete dragon Which I would be down for Don't get me wrong But I am going for that more smooth bowl shape I do kind of want it to be blending with itself nicely um. Well, let's start with something a little bit easier. Oh, I know why it didn't work because it was th because there was uh, it was three rows. That's why it didn't work.
That doesn't seem quite right. That seems a little quick and easy. Or quick and dirty, as you might call it. Oh boy, oh boy, I am tired. I'm not fit for fight and I haven't been for the last 15 minutes. Looking up references in my own VODs was not the fire move. Because that got me all kinds of drossy. No, tiny. I'm sorry, but no, I am uh, going to shut off and probably go to bed because I've only had like five hours of sleep the last two days each. So uh, I might actually just go to bed just after I thrive, shut down the stream and turn the computer off and all that. Just there's a little bit of a science to that. Yes. Let's save this. Otherwise we can have some real fucking issues. The lag ship. Roto type. Bam. Right, it actually did have a name. I forgot entirely. It has a name. Uh, shit. Do I care? Let's care. Now let's see here, what was the actual classification for this bitch? I might make a uh, USS McTiny. If I can ever, if I can ever figure out how to make one of those, uh, one of those. Uh, drone craft where you have uh, an AI and a local weapon controller and a turret with thrusters on it and you just strap a nuke to it then I might call that the McTiny oh boy there it is there's the names um Let's see here. Um, uh, 
Okay. Um. Super battleship. Um, only one perfection part of the fleet. Few sheep, excessive armor, firepower. Pretty slow because of one motion. So it's actually a heavy weight super battleship. Super battleship animation. Ah, uh, yeah. Steamship miscarriage tiny. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. Just because I'm tired, and that's what happens when I'm tired. It's kind of like getting drunk, only you wake up feeling fine the day after. Okay, uh, hey, I'm quarters. Reference, there we go, that's the word. Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Uh, good night, bye, love you, it's been fun. Hope to see you uh, on Monday or uh, whenever next you pop in.